Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Gofani Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fani Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, and please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to, and I'll be more than glad to react to anything you guys suggest. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Or you can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0 and enjoy the content that we actually put out there. So many of you have been uh, requesting that I react to Dr. Zaki Naik uh, videos. So here we are. I have a bunch of these to react to and I'm actually excited to be reacting to them. So today I'm going to be reacting to I found many grammatical mistakes in the Quran claims Arab Christian uh, That's interesting and I honestly love these question and answer um, Sessions so without wasting time. Let's get into the video Dr. Zakar you said there isn't any mistake in Quran. I see more than 20 mistake in Arabic grammar and I will tell you some of them. Inna ladina amanu wa ladina hadu wa sabi'oon. He what? said in Baqarah and Hal, Hajj. Inna ladina amanu wa ladina hadu wa sabi'in. Which is right? A sabi'oon or a sabi'in? Number one. Number two. Brother, he one, said, one, brother one question one at a time. Question. Yeah, please. but at the same uh, thing. He said in Surah Taha 63, Inna hadhani la sahiran. Mistake. Inna hadhani la sahiran. Can you explain that? And there is more than that uh, mistake. Brother, brother will allow you only the one. first part of the question. The second part will not allow because we have stated we'll allow okay. one question at a time so others get a chance to. Okay. The brother has asked a very good question. I would like to be more concordant and agreeing. He has mentioned all 20 grammatical points. And the book is referring to by Abdul Fadi. Abdul Fadi, correct? Is the Quran infallible? I can see yeah. some things. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, my side is good. <laughs> I will answer all 20 together. Because I've read the book. I'll answer all 20, inshallah. Inshallah. Point number one, brother. Point number one. Point number one to be noted that all Arabic grammar is taken from the Quran. Quran was the highest Arabic book, a book which has the maximum level of highest literature. All the Arabic grammar has been derived from the Quran. Quran is the textbook of grammar. Since Quran is the textbook of grammar and all the grammar is derived from the Quran, the Quran can never have a mistake. Point number one. Point number two. Point number two. Point number two. It is like you know taking a ruler, and the ruler is there has a measurement, and you're saying the measurement is wrong. It sounds illogical. Point number two. In the different tribes of Arabia, and you know Arabic, and Dr. William Campbell also will agree with me. In different Arabic tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. In some Arabic tribe. The word is feminine, the same word is even masculine in the other tribes of Arabia. In different tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. Even the gender keeps on changing. So will you check Quran with that faulty grammar? No. And furthermore, the eloquence of Quran is so high. It's so high, it is far superior. And you know there are various books on the internet you go. 12 grammatical mistake, 21 grammatical mistake, Abdul Fadi, 20 grammatical mistake. Do you think the Christian people took out these mistakes? Who took out these mistakes? Do you know who took out? The Muslims. The Muslim scholars, like Zamakshari, what they did, that the Quran grammar is so high that it goes against the conventional use of the Arabic. The Quran grammar is so high, to prove the Quranic grammar was high, they gave examples. And I'll give you a couple of examples, which will answer all these 20 questions. They give the example, like read in the Quran, it says, that the people of Lut, salam, they rejected all the messengers. They rejected the messengers it's mentioned. Dr. William Campbell said, the people 
of Noah, they rejected the messengers. We know from history that there was only one messenger sent to them. So it has a grammatical mistake. Quran should have said the people rejected the messenger, not messengers. I agree with you. With layman grammar like how you and I know, it may be a mistake. But if you read the books written by Arabs, what is the beauty of the Quran? The beauty of the Quran is, why does the Quran refer messengers instead of messenger? You know why? Because we know that the basic message of all the messengers was same. That there is one God. About Tawheed, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By mentioning the people of Ruth alayhi salam, the people of Noah rejected the messenger. It says by rejecting Ruth alayhi salam, they are indirectly rejecting all the messengers. <laughs> see the beauty, see the eloquence, alhamdulillah. You may think it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. Similarly, people like Anush Suraj says that Quran says, Kun fayakun, be and it is. It should be kun fakana, be and it was. Agreed, past tense is kun fakana in Arabic. It's not kun fayakun, but the kun fayakun is more superior. It says, Allah, it was, it is, and can do. Past, present, and future. Thank you, Dr. Naik. Grammatical mistakes are bound to happen. I feel it's whoever typed the Quran is bound to make a mistake. Whoever typed the Bible or that science textbook or that geography textbook, history, you name it, can make a mistake. That happens. But uh, should we hold that against the religion? I, I, I don't know. Does that change the meaning of something? It may change the meaning of something in that text, but um, that's why you have to be strong in your group. Because I like Muslims and the way they handle things. Because Dr. Zaki Naik may have answered it like this, and another Muslim is also going to use the same manner to explain the same mistakes discovered by whoever discovered them, which would be the togetherness that I'm trying to speak about. Although when you go to other people and say, but this book has this, that's going to say it means this, this, and they'll have differing uh, explanations and be comfortable with that. Even if the ideas are confusing whoever they're explaining to. And I'm really trying to understand this. Is there anyone else that has explained these 20 mistakes, grammatical mistakes found in the Quran? I actually think it's okay to error but if Muslims are saying those are not mistakes it was meant to be then then what can you say what can I say cause they're defending those mistakes and making you understand it their way and the way they see things but I was actually thinking about Christianity what about the mistakes in the Bible should should a Christian also use this way to explain something with the rest of the world or people that are in, um, into religion understand that, oh yes, I see the point, or is it going to be called uh, trash talk because you're just trying to defend something that you believe in. That's another situation. Otherwise, this, has, this to me has left more questions than answers. And if there's someone else that has actually answered this question of the 20 grammatical uh, mistakes in the Quran, please suggest the video down below. I would love to see it. I would love to watch it and get a better understanding of what's actually going down because I really, really want to know. I'm inquisitive about this particular one. But if there's someone who's got the answers to my question, please comment down below. Educate me more. I'm always willing to um, listen, read, learn. And yeah, I'm always open to new information. So let me know what you guys think about this video. What you have to say about the 20 grammatical uh, mistakes, especially the, Mo the Muslims. What would you say about those mistakes? Is there a better way to simplify what Dr. Zaki Naik was saying? And if yeah, please explain down below. If there's something you want me to react to, please name it down below. Send the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react. To eat make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video